Hey there fans, uh, I didn't think I was going to be doing a, another video so quickly, but as you guys probably already know, um, it looks like the Rise of the Beast uh, movie dropped a new trailer for us. I think the original trailer dropped on my birthday, which was back on December 1st, and so I think we've, we've had some spots here and there that have uh, added on. Um, you know, some commercial spots, little things here and there, differences from the original that was released. But I think this is our second uh, trailer that we are getting. So I wanted to give you guys um, maybe a breakdown and my reaction, right? So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, here we go. Our kind has stayed hidden on Earth. But darkness has found us again. Prime. This is about the fate of all living things. Unicron is coming. So I'm, I'm going to pause it right here because, wow, so... Uh, obviously we could see the jungle, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming this is Peru, right? And I, as you guys know, my dad's from Peru, so I'm part Peruvian. So it's pretty cool to see um, maybe the Inca mythology um, somehow combining with the beasts and so on and so forth. Um, I, for me, it's all about story. That's what's really going to tie this in because of the visuals. Now, as I'm pausing this right here, we get a really nice image of Unicron. Um, I, I'm really intrigued here. Uh, I'm kind of confused. I just finished reading an article not too long ago about how this is not a reboot, right? And so here we've got Unicron, and uh, and I thought Unicron was inside of the Earth. According to the fifth film, they kind of did a Transformers Prime type of thing where the core looked like was Unicron. So I don't know. I'm a little bit confused, but we'll keep on going. This is a pretty cool... Uh, very classic to G1. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm digging it, to be quite honest with you guys. 1994. Oh, you seen this? Mirage. This cool duplication. Back up. Oh, I thought we were boys. You want it? Come and get it. You brought a human here. I'm nobody. I'm I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seeing anything right now. Thank you, Alright, we got a little bit more of that. Chasey, again, thinking this is Peru. We've got some spots coming out. Oh, uh, air rays are nice. Yeah, How big can this guy be? Uh, he uh, eats planets. So, like, way bigger than a planet. Jumping out of this plane. That's that's pretty cool. In the end, that's everything you cared for will be consumed. Maybe there's another way to save our home. You've never faced anything like this. Nice. Nice. Let them come. Wow, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, here's what I'd say. Um, I mean, action-wise, it, it looks cool. Um, I, I honestly, I know a lot of you guys are excited for this. I have not been excited about Transformers since the first Transformer film. Unfortunately, I wasn't excited for two, three, four, five. Uh, they were entertaining, like I've mentioned before. Uh, they don't connect well. There's huge amounts of inconsistencies, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Bumblebee was... Uh, I... I, I I don't know if I don't, I don't remember being excited for Bumblebee. I was looking forward to it, but I wasn't excited um, because I wanted to see if there was again there was this confusion, soft reboot, continuation. 
I, you can't tell me on the soft reboot. There's too much there to tell me that it's a soft reboot. We've got references to Sector 7, Agent Simmons, um, you know, but then it, it doesn't tie good because it shows B coming in uh, in the 80s. Uh, along with Prime, uh, you know, when, when you know, uh, episode or episode, uh, the, the fifth film shows B uh, and Hot Rod uh, during World War II. So massive inconsistencies. And, um, you know, here we've got, it appears to be more of the same. Uh, like I said, I read an article. I'm going to see if I find it and I attach it. Um, but, I, you know, read an article that states that it was, this is going to, this is not a reboot. Um, and therefore it's a continuation. So, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. A lot of you guys don't like, uh, Wheeljack's look with the goggles it looks really nerdy and I get it. Maybe they're trying to do the scientific route. Um, he's got the doors in the panel, uh, but he looks nothing like Wheeljack. He looks completely unrecognizable. Whereas the Beast Wars characters, they look totally recognizable, right? You could tell Rhinox is Rhinox, Air Razor is Air Razor. Um, you could tell Cheetor is Cheetor, right? Um, so, uh, you know. I, I, Wheeljack is my least favorite uh, design. Um, so, so yeah, uh, as far as action goes, it looks great. The CG looks great. I, at this juncture, it's a major film. I'm not, like, to me, that's not even in question anymore at this juncture, right? Any film that, that goes in with this type of, uh, these types of characters, they're going to put a budget in there. They're going to make sure that, you know, uh, you know, these types of things are at the forefront. What's going to bring it home for me is a story. And, and at this juncture, unfortunately, I'm already on the low end because we've got, if, if it is true that this is a, 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 a continuation, we, we, I, I've got some questions that are really confusing. So realistically, the, the story is really what's going to drive this film for me. Um, it is what it is, right? Uh, it looks cool. Look, visually looks phenomenal. Uh, I will give it that. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I know a lot of you guys are super excited for it. Poster came out today. I, I put it up on the community chat. It was awesome. It looked phenomenal, the, the poster. Uh, I really liked RC. Uh, not, I'm sorry, not RC. I really liked uh, Air Razor. Um, looked cool. She's one actually one of my favorites in Beast Wars. When it comes to Beast Wars, my favorite characters are Cheetor, uh, Air Razor, and uh, and Dinobot. Those are my three favorite. Not in, not in that specific order. Um, but it was cool to hear her talk, right? Uh, it was cool to see her. I think she's going to be probably one of my favorites uh, in this film possibly. Um, as I've mentioned before, I'm kind of curious how they're going to tie in the the Peruvian aspect of things. Um, I, I really, I don't know because, uh, you know, I'm very familiar with uh, with my ancestry and, uh, and we don't have <laughs> these types of uh, things. We were really, the Incas were really, if, if it's going by Inca, which was the, the most uh, um, popular and well-known and powerful tribe uh, throughout Peruvian history, uh, it was the Incas, right? Uh, and uh, and uh, in, in Inca um, uh, mythos, right, uh, we've got, they were very big in worshiping the sun uh, and the moon. They had a sun god and a moon god. Um, so they, it wasn't so much about the, um, the animals, uh, unless, you, you know, we're talking about maybe the condors, maybe they were up in the Andes, possibly, Right, uh, because remember uh, the Incas, uh, they, they, their, their reign at their height was uh, the southern parts of Colombia, if I'm not mistaken, um, all the way down to the northern parts of Bolivia, if I'm not mistaken. It's it's been a while since uh, you know I've looked in that area in geography, um, but but I I believe that's where their empire reigned. So it expanded. So I'm really really curious to see how they tie it. But aside from that. Uh, the trailer, the trailer looks sick. So nice job on Paramount with this particular trailer. Nice job again with the CG and the action. That final sequence is gonna look stellar. I, it, it's really giving me a lot of like, um, uh, you know, Civil War type of vibe where you've got Captain America and Iron Man coming, uh, battling each other at the, at the airport. That's what it gives me a lot of vibes, and that was a really good scene. So if it's anything like that, this is gonna be really, really good as far as that particular scene goes. So guys, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, until the next time, take care. Peace out. Till all I want. Bye-bye.